This is Ringler Radio, where you get all the latest news and information about settlement solutions, litigation, mediation, and structured financial security from Ringler, the largest and most experienced company of settlement consultants in the United States. Ringler has been helping injured people and their families since 1975. Ringler Radio is made possible in part by American General, Liberty Mutual, MetLife, Mutual of Omaha, New York Life, Pacific Life, and Prudential. Now join Ringler Radio host Larry Cohen. Well, hello and welcome to Ringler Radio, everyone. I'm Larry Cohen, the head of Ringler's Northeast Operations, and we're certainly glad you could join us again today. Well, hopefully by now it's become evident that Ringler's core mission is protecting the financial future of injured parties while offering win-win solutions for the marketplace. Similarly, Advanet is the first and largest specialty network for comprehensive pain management, post-acute care and addiction recovery, and management for the workers' compensation industry. Today on Ringler Radio, we're going to be speaking to Bernie McCabe, Chief Sales Officer at at Advanet, about the mission of Advanet, their unique approach to chronic pain management, and how they assist injured parties who are struggling with opioids. So with that, welcome to the show, Bernie. Great to have you on Ringler Radio. Great to be here, Larry. Thanks so much. Terrific. And joining me today as my co-host is my friend and Ringler colleague, Duke Wolpert. Duke is the Ringler Settlement Consultant responsible for managing our Pennsylvania and our Mid-Atlantic region. Welcome to the show, Duke. Great to have you here. Uh, Great to be here, Larry. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, and I love having two Philadelphia uh, folks on this show because I know the Eagles are about to play a big game, and uh, hopefully the Patriots will meet them in the Super Bowl. That'll be fun. I'll take that. (laughs) Terrific. (laughs) Well, Bernie, why don't you begin by telling us about Advanet's mission and and who you see as your customers? And and In other words, who is it you're serving out there? Sure, absolutely. Thanks, Larry. Um, Well, as you said, um, Advanet was started in 2012. We're a nationwide comprehensive pain management network, and uh, comprehensive pain management involves many facets of treatments, including evaluations, injections, physical and behavioral rehabilitation, drug screening, addiction management, as well as the post-acute care that I know we're going to uh, maybe touch upon, too. But who we're serving are really three unique entities, uh, the payer, the provider, as well as the patient. And uh, what we want to be is a facilitator for all three of those entities. Um, first, by really by improving the process by streamlining communications between the parties, and also by uh, utilizing our clinical expertise as an oversight tool basically helping all parties better manage the case to, uh, to conclusion without sacrificing any care to the patient. The reality here is that all parties win if the patient gets better or can return to work full or modified. So if we're focused on the patient care, which is crucial, sometimes the communication gets a little murky between the provider, the patient um, is doing something that the provider is not aware of and the communication is just not there, they're not talking to each other, whatever it may be. But by streamlining all the pathways, the patient is going to receive better care, and with that, everyone's going to win. And I assume, uh, Bernie, when for our audience, for our audience's sake, when you say payer, provider, and patient, we all know the patient. I'm assuming the provider is that entity that's providing the actual care, Correct, and the payer Larry. is the insurance carrier that may be paying the bill. Exactly. Okay, good. Yeah, thanks, Bernie. Across the marketplace, I'm hearing a lot of good things about Advanet. What would you say is unique about your clinical approach to chronic pain management? Well, you know what, Duke? Um, we are the first network to manage pain specifically. Other areas of the work comp space, like physical medicine, diagnostic, PBMs, have been managing from a network standpoint in the past. Um, so we are the first to break through on the pain side. And what we're doing is really following the formula that we know works in the other spend buckets out there and applying that to pain. So it's also a unique that we're engaging the provider from a clinical standpoint, concentrating on outcomes, not just the savings beyond fee schedule and UNC. So we know early intervention works. We saw it in PT 20 years ago. A uh, quick example is when, we, when I came from a physical medicine background, we saw about 15 years ago that the, the norm, normal visits were about 16 visits. Once you put a clinical component onto that, the average right now is about eight to nine visits. Um, so what they were trying to keep were patients away from PT. And that's what we're seeing in the pain space today. So by keeping them away from pain management, because they feel they will lose them. But what really happens is they are simply delaying it. So let me use an example, you know, in pain management, 
if, uh, if doctors should have been involved four to five months after the accident, but instead gets involved two years post-accident. As a result, that patient is deconditioned terribly, and it's more difficult to get that person back to their pre-injury state, or at least get them to manage the pain better. So now the door's open uh, for that opioid abuse. And what I really see the industry moving to is early intervention, getting the pain management specialists involved early. But it is new to the industry, and it's really still being met with a little skepticism. But that is where it's going, and that's where it truly needs to go. Yeah, it sounds like uh, early intervention is going to save money in the long haul. And that's really what it's about for, for, the, for those payors, for sure. Well, you know, Advanet has, a, uh, has quite a network of skilled nursing facilities and inpatient rehab facilities, long-term acute care facilities, and home health approach. That's quite a, a, an amalgam of, of facilities and, and enterprise for that network. Tell us, tell us about all that. How does it mesh? Well, you know, Larry, Avenet's core, uh, core mission, and, and if you look at our tagline, it's Advancing Ancillary Networks. What we found is that there are other areas that are unmanaged, which includes addiction recovery as well as post-acute care, or how I refer to it as our PAC program. Now, our PAC program is a tremendous program, which we started in 2014 when we acquired a company that specializes specifically in it. It's run by Stan Smith, who um, has been in the skilled nursing facility space for over 20 years. Before he came to us, he actually did a reorganization of the VA for over 70 skilled nursing facilities. So but basically, our PAC team has over 130 years' experience strictly in PAC, and we're very hands-on developing the treatment plans, not, not just reviewing the bills. So really, our goal is to match the patient with the right facility. All our skilled nursing facilities are Medicare three-star rated or higher, but not every three-star facility is the same. Um, we have about 5,200 facilities currently in our PAC network. And again, we want to be the facilitator, like, we, like I said earlier, between the patient, the payer, and the provider, ensuring the right care at the right level at the right time. Well, that, that all makes sense. And uh, that's obviously a big job, and that's why you, you're uh, managing it and hope, hopefully helping to uh, grow it as well. So we're going to take a quick break right now, but we'll be right back right here on Ringler Radio with Bernie McCabe talking more about Advanet. This is Ringler Radio, brought to you from Ringler, the nation's leading provider of fair settlement solutions. Did you know that Ringler is involved in a third of all structured settlement cases in the country? Ringler advisors work with all the parties in a lawsuit settlement to find the best possible financial solution for the people involved. Everybody wins. There's a Ringler consultant in all the major cities of the U.S. No one has more experienced experts in the settlement business than Ringler. Check out our website at www.ringlerassociates.com for the best information for injured parties, attorneys, and claims professionals to find the Ringler advisor nearest you. When it's your interest at stake in a lawsuit settlement, you want only the best, most objective financial plan. You can count on Ringler Advisors to create a customized plan that meets the financial needs of you and your family for the future. Visit ringlerassociates.com to learn more. Welcome back to Ringler Radio. Glad you could join us. I'm your host, Larry Cohen, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Duke Wolpert, and our special guest, Bernie McCabe, Chief Sales Officer at Advanet. Bernie, we recently did a show which spotlighted the growing opioid epidemic. And in 2016, I understand Advanet launched the Addiction Recovery Network for Workers' Compensation. Tell us about that. It sounds like an important feature of your, uh, of your, of your system. No, absolutely, Larry. Um, well, addiction was so integral to pain management. For us to offer our clients the best solution possible, we needed to be able to add addiction recovery to our service offerings. We wanted to build our network first, uh, and really with the help of our payers, we, did, we were able to do that before we brought it to market. Now, we have four program offerings, inpatient hospital, residential treatment, day treatment, and outpatient programs. So a total of just a little under 4,000 providers that we're really trying to meet the specific needs of the patient as well as coverage. All the residential facilities must include functional restoration program. Now, functional restoration includes the physical approach, which is the exercise, the cardio, but it also includes the psychological approach. How well is the person going to manage the pain? How, how can we help them lessen the fear and anxiety attached to it and really figure out positive ways to think about pain so they can regain quality of life even when the pain is still present? Now, the relapse rate for programs without functional restoration is 70%. 
programs that include functional restoration, the relapse rate is less than 20%. Now, our program is run by our addiction recovery medical director, uh, Dr. James, James Flowers, who, uh, who actually reviews every referral. He was instrumental in bringing functional restoration to the uh, Hazleton Betty Ford Clinic, actually. Uh, the Hazleton Betty Ford Clinic is actually the, uh, they only chose our network to be part of as well. Um, and really the main job, our main job, our main goal is how do we address the addiction in a multidisciplinary and comprehensive way that allows the, the continuum of care that gets that patient back to work. Yeah, Bernie, I recently saw that your COO, Paul Norkett, had said, by creating an addiction recovery network that works in concert with your pain management program, you're better equipped to address the addiction component of the claim. You focus on the functional restoration of the injured worker and alternative treatments to opioids and narcotics. I got to ask, how big is this problem in the workers' compensation space? You know, the problem is, is really is massive, Duke. It's, um, there's an article, actually, that we just put up on our website um, from MSN Money titled, The Opioid Crisis Comes to the Workplace. Now, there were over, over uh, 63,000 overdose deaths in 2016. Now, specific to workers' comp, last year alone, the number of workers who died at work because of drug or alcohol abuse-related incidents increased by more than 30% to more than 200 now, while that number may seem small, it's, it's really evident on how rapidly the problem is growing because less than five years ago, fewer than 70 people died from overdose at work. But since 2012, the number of people dying from drug or alcohol-related causes while on the job has been growing by at least 25% each year. And this is according to the Bureau of uh, Labor Statistics. But if they're dying at work, which represents really a smaller period of their overall time, they're going to be dying at home and really hence the huge... 63,000 number that you're seeing. That's a that's a massive number yeah. and it's such it's such a critical and 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 really such a sad uh, thing we're facing as a country today uh, and I th- I want to thank and commend you guys for doing what you're doing to help uh, help alleviate some of that. It's really really tough. You know, Bernie our our audience appreciates it when uh, we can spotlight some real life stories and on your site you shared a success story of an injured worker who completed the Advanet addiction recovery program. Uh, successfully. Could you share that story with our listeners? Yeah, there was an injured worker, um, Larry, that was treating with a physician for back pain for 20 years, um, over 20 years, really. And the physician was treating the back pain with opioid. In this, in this case, methadone was the regimen. Now, the DEA got involved due to the overutilization for this injured worker, whereby the injured worker was then referred to us uh, for consideration into our addiction recovery program. Now, prior to the referral, the injured worker was going through withdrawals and wound up at the hospitals, uh, hospital multiple times seeking medical treatment. But through Abinet, the injured worker went as an in-network residential treatment program for six weeks, then transitioned to an outpatient program, obviously, which is a little bit less intense. But after a period of eight weeks, the injured worker was prescription-free, methadone-free for the first time in over 20 years. The injured worker has back pain still, but now is able to cope with it and, and doesn't need the utilization of uh, medications to do that. And best of all is the injured workers now seeking employment and ready to function normally in the community. Yeah, that's certainly a success, Bernie. Uh, with all the success that you're seeing on the uh, outcome side with injured parties, I'd have to imagine that Advanet is getting a lot of attention from the payer community and the insurance, self-insurance marketplace. What are you saying? Can you share some insights? Yeah, you know what, uh, Duke, the numbers back it up. Uh, we, are, um, we actually were recognized back in August of this year, or about 2017, rather, by Inc. 500 as the 13th fastest growing company in the United States, and we're actually the first fastest growing in the healthcare um, area. The reason is that the employers, the third-party administrators, carriers, and self-insurers have come really to the realization that pain management is crucial to try and get their patients back to work, or having a pain management program is crucial to get, uh, trying to get their patients back to work and back to a normal uh, lifestyle. Now, payers really view pain like they did PT 20 years ago as that dark corner where patients go and get lost. What we want to do is, and really in my discussions, is to establish a game plan for that for the pain side of it and really utilize their current and historical analytics to establish specific processes and protocols for pain. But to answer your question, it truly is on the payer's radar right now. No question about that. And they're always, everybody's always looking to save money. That's the, uh, the nature of the beast. Right. Well, Bernie, we can't wrap up the show without asking you a little bit about structured settlements. Uh, you know, long-term care is often the major factor in settlement planning. 
making sure there's enough money available going forward to support ongoing medical care and better pain management would certainly be a part of that. And I guess I'll ask you, how does the concept of a structured settlement mesh with Advanet's mission? Is, did, or, do they coincide? They do. I absolutely agree with that. You now, the structured settlement you know, really protects injured parties and, and their futures. Now, for pain, for PAC and addiction, as I said before, providing the right provider at the right time with the right care can make all the difference in the world for all parties. So if we can implement a successful or strong PAC you know, pain management or addiction program, it will reduce the need for medical treatment and cost of care. So, which means the money that the, is, the patient is given either, you know, monthly or annually can be used for other services that the patient may need at that time. You know, and another uh, factor too is, that, you know, we're always met with, and, and thankfully we have a proprietary system that allows us to do this, is really customize our approach to our payers. And I know structured settlements can be customized to address the future medical needs of the injured worker and, uh, and to appropriately preserve funds when needed in the future. But really, at the end of the day, structured settlements serve as the perfect solution for injured workers or injured parties and pain management, you know, for pain management, addiction, as well as the long-term uh, uh, care challenges that we're seeing out there. Well, you know, I like the sound of that a lot. So yeah. uh, we, you're not going to get any arguments from, from this side of the house. I think it's great. I think uh, you, what you're doing is terrific in terms of helping people move on with their lives, hopefully pain-free. And uh, obviously what we do is try to provide the kind of funds and access to, uh, to the kinds of resources that they need to do that. So with that, Bernie, I want to thank you again for joining us today. If someone wanted to get a hold of you or talk to you, how would they do that? Oh, no. Well, first, thank you, Larry, for the tremendous opportunity today. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Duke. And uh, now for Avenet, if uh, there's wanted to get some information on Avenet, please just visit our website, which is uh, – www.adva-net.com, or you can contact us directly at, uh, at info at adva-net.com. To reach me, they can reach at uh, email b mccabe, M-C-C-A-B-E, at adva-net.com, or call me directly at area code 610-613-0937. Terrific. And uh, Duke, if someone wanted to reach you, how would they do that? Uh, email is dtwalpert, W-O-L-P-E-R-T, at ringlerassociates.com. And uh, office line is 610-834-5553. Well, that's terrific. And of course, all of you out there can reach any Ringler Associate around the country by going to ringlerassociates.com. We have a great website with a lot of great information. And of course, it has the uh, information to reach each and every one of the Ringler Associates around the country. And when you go to ringlerassociates.com, you'll also be able to see all of the Ringler radio shows, and you can download and hear them all. Uh, you can also get the Ringler radio shows on ringlerradio.com, legaltalknetwork.com, or you can go to iTunes, where you can download directly to your device and listen at your leisure to Bernie McCabe telling you all about Advanet, just like he did today with us. So with that, I want to thank you again, Bernie, for joining us. Oh, thank you, Larry. I really appreciate it. And uh, Duke, thanks for being a great co-host. My pleasure, Larry. And for the rest of you out there, go have a great day and uh, go Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. The views expressed by the participants of this program are their own and do not represent the views of, nor are they endorsed by, Legal Talk Network, its officers, directors, employees, agents, representatives, shareholders, and subsidiaries. None of the content should be considered legal advice. As always, consult a lawyer. Thanks for listening to Ringler Radio, celebrating more than a decade of podcasting and over 2 million listeners. Think of Ringler, the objective settlement advisors with more than 140 consultants in 60 cities nationwide. Visit ringlerassociates.com today.